Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at a head-to-head -head comparison between the Hobart Easy Tig 165i that sells for $1,399 on Amazon and we'll take a look at the Longevity Tig Weld 200EX that sells for $1,299 on Amazon. So hang out for a few minutes. Let's look at the two machines side by side and take a look at some of the capabilities and features of each machine and then when we're done you should be able to draw your own conclusions as to what machine is best for your price point and for your capabilities in what you want to do. Okay so let's take a few minutes here to look at some of the controls on the face of the machine and some of the capabilities that some machines have and the other machine does not. Okay so let's take a couple of minutes here to look at some of the faces on the machines here and some of the capabilities of each one. So on the right here we see the Easy Tig 165i. It has some pretty simple controls and very basic controls on the front of the machine. It has an on off switch that turns the machine on and off. It has a toggle switch that selects between AC and DC modes. And then there's a knob here that we can adjust for the amperage or depending upon which dial we're looking on on the outside of the knob here. It also corresponds to material thicknesses both on the AC and the DC modes. So besides the inner circle here that shows the amperage, we can also select based on material thicknesses suggested depending upon which mode we're in. So that's the total totality of all the controls on the machine. We have one knob that adjusts amperage and we have one toggle switch that controls AC or DC. Now let's take a moment here to look at some of the controls and capabilities of the TIGWELD 200EX from Longevity. So the first thing that we see is, is it's also capable of switching between the AC and the DC mode using this button up here at the top. This is also capable of operating in the 2T and the 4T mode depending upon how we are planning to do our welding and what our setup and our operation capabilities are. It also has a button here that we can use to purge the gas or to test the volume of gas coming through the flow meter. It also has a button here that we can use to turn on or turn off the high frequency when we're doing TIG welding. Unlike the Easy TIG 165i, the 200EX also has a pulser built into it. So we have all the pulse functions that are granted to us when we have a TIG welding machine that has a pulser. So we have capabilities to set uh, pulse width, back pulse frequency, base current or background current, and some of the other capabilities that we have when we do pulsing. We also have on the AC mode, we have the capability of adjusting the AC frequency and we also have the capability to adjust the AC balance depending upon how much cleaning action or how much penetration we desire. There's also a capability depending upon how we uh, set up our machine uh, that we can set up a pre-flow volume, how much gas we would like to flow before. We can also set up a start current and an upslope we can set the, the base current for the welding process. We can also set a downslope time and a finish or stop current or ending amount of current. And then we can also adjust the post flow or how much gas flows after we get done welding. So that's a very wide capabilities here, many different uh, parameters that we can make adjustments on and make uh, uh, changes to. Once again, Nothing like this over here on the Easy, one tig, Easy Tig 165i. One knob to adjust amperage, one toggle to adjust the polarity. This machine is also, unlike the Easy Tig 165i, this is also capable of doing stick welding. So we can take and we can remove the TIG torch and install the stinger, the electrode holder on there. And by making some adjustments over here in the right lower corner of the front of the machine, we can do some stick welding with it. So we can turn on the stick welding function here. And we're also capable of adjusting arc force, the, the soft start, and also 
the what we call the arc length here or how much penetration or the dig force that we get with it. So much more capabilities, much more things that we can control and adjust on the TIGWELD 200EX as composed to the Hobart Easy TIG 165i. So for our money, there's much more capability, much more freedom to adjust uh, on the TIGWELD 200EX. This is machine sells on currently on Amazon sells for $1299. The Easy TIG 165i on the same Amazon website sells for $1399. The Easy TIG has a very easy to understand and easy to operate user interface here. One switch, one knob, turn it to our material thickness and it's supposed to do what it is uh, that we want it to do. That doesn't give us or the operator much capability to make adjustments depending upon the position, depending upon the type of material that we're working with, or some of the other features that we may be uh, encounter when we try to do a welding project. On the other hand, the TIGWELD 200EX has many different functions that are capable of being modified and changed to function with your specific project and your specific process. Once again, Easy TIG Weld 165i, dedicated TIG welding. The controls are hardwired in there. We can't install a stick welding electrode holder or stinger even if we wanted to. Over here, this machine is capable of a second process that this one is not. So when we take a look at these head to head, in my opinion, the TIGWELD 200EX has much more capabilities and much more bang for our buck when it comes to welding processes. So thanks again for taking a few minutes out of your day to look at some of the differences between the Hobart Easy TIG 165i and the Longevity 200EX. Both machines are capable of TIG welding in both the AC and the DC mode but the 200EX from Longevity is also capable of stick welding. As far as duty cycle goes, the Hobart 165i is capable of 150 amps at a 20% duty cycle. The 200EX has a 25% duty cycle at 200 amps. So you can decide which one better fits your capabilities and what you want to do in the area of welding. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back here often. We'd like to see you back and see more of our videos in the area of welding and fabrication. So thanks again for spending a few minutes with us, and we hope you have a great day.